Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be making a do-it-yourself Cat5, Cat6 coupler. Normally I don't like to use couplers. I'd rather just have one straight run. It's another point of failure. However, there are certain situations where if you don't want to replace the whole run, it may make sense. I will note that it is easier just to buy a coupler. They are relatively cheap, but if you're in a pinch and you already have a couple of modular jacks, you can make your own. So getting started, here's what I'm going to need. I got a punch down tool, wire stripper, just a little section of uh, cable, and then two modular jacks. Getting started by cutting the sheathing off one end of the wire, and this is way more wire than I need. But better to have and not need than need and not have. With the sheathing removed, I'm going to separate all the wires, untwist them, and this is actually a piece of Cat 6, so I got the center tubing. I'm going to cut this out. Don't need that. Now my modular jack, I got my brown, brown, white, blue, blue, white on one side. Turn it around the other way. And then I got my green, green, white, orange, orange, white. And I got a choice of an A or a B network on which way I want to punch it down. It doesn't matter which way you do it as long as you do the other jack the exact same way. So... You don't want to do A on one, B on the other. I'm going to start with the brown and blue side. I'm going to go ahead and punch this side down. I want to make sure I got them in the right spot. Brown, 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 white, brown, white, blue, 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 white, blue, white. That side is punched down, ready to go. This side's ready to be punched down. I went with the B, so I got my orange, orange, white, and then green, green, white. And done. Next thing I'm going to do is cut this wire down because I don't need that much. There we go. That's plenty to work with, but not too short. I'm going to add in the other side of this. Just back it right up to it. There's one side. Not going to punch them down yet till I get everything in there. Got them together. Now I can punch them down. So here's the finished product. And of course, you plug in on each end. You got yourself a coupler. It's a little flimsy, so I usually hit it with electrical tape just to firm it up a little bit. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.